teaching, coaching, and broadcasting the sport from the tip of a pen. The left goes to the right, the right goes to the left. To further his vision of sharing. So when coach says, play like hell when I tell you to. What's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, Team Hollywood? And what's up, my Madden 25 fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, what I want to talk about, I'm testing my run block sliders on my slider set, my all pro slider set. And I'm adjusting, adjusting the numbers to a minimum where you get clean blocking, clean blocking schemes. Because in Madden, you know, sometimes when you're dealing with the defensive line and the offensive line, the trenches, you get kind of boggled gameplay sometimes. So I'm trying to clean it up. But I want to get it to the point where it's minimum, where you get a clean blocking base, okay? Uh, and then you can let the ratings take over after, when you clean the blocking up. So what I want to show you guys is that when you're patient running the football and you follow your blocking scheme, you will be really successful running the football, okay? And, I, and I'm assuming a lot of people, as soon as they get the football, running the football, they hit a turbo immediately. When you hit turbo, first of all, you're not gonna get good spin moves, you're not gonna get ju good ju juke moves. You need to do that without turbo, okay? Turbo is only when you're hitting the open field. Because when you turbo, as soon as you get the ball, guess what? The defense is gonna turbo. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, block shed quicker. You're running quicker, they're gonna block shed quicker, trust me. So you don't wanna use turbo until you get to the open field. Be patient and follow your blockers. Let me play this at speed, guys, and then we'll break it down. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> you know when people say running is easy for them, it's because they're following the actual blocking schemes of their blockers. Okay, let's look at this. I can't show you the play art of the blocking because we're in re replay mode but look at it we're going to break down each one of these blocks okay let's look at the left guard let's look at the matter of fact let's look at the left guard and the left tackle watch what they do they immediately are pushing my man to the left okay now let's look at the center and i mean the uh, uh let me see yeah the center and the right guard they're going to immediately double team and push my man to the right. Okay. You see how that's working? Okay. Now, matter of fact, let me use my chalkboard, guys. Now, you see this guy here. That's one. Of, that's my tight end right there. Watch what he does, guys. Watch what my tight end does. Okay. Watch him. He's going to go and make the block right there. Boom. Okay. Y'all see, he makes the block right here. I'm showing you guys the blocking scheme right now, okay? He makes that block right there. Now, let's go to the next level. Now, I want you to watch the left guard and the right guard, but we're gonna look at the left guard first because I don't want you guys to see it. We're gonna break it down. Watch the left guard. After he does his double team, right? And I identified the mic on this play, guess what he does? He goes and get that linebacker right there, that middle linebacker. <laughs> he goes and get my man right here. After he finishes double team, he going and seal that block right there. And look at the hole. If you follow your blocking schemes and be patient, you will have a better running game, okay? Now, let's look at the right guard. Let's look at the right guard right here let's look at the right guard watch what he does after he's finished with his double team boom number 53 watch what he does he goes to the next level and grabs that linebacker right here <laughs> all right guys now let's start at the beginning of the play and watch the watch the whole develop in the line but you gotta be patient first of all you gotta let this guy clear first you don't go through before he comes across he comes across first, and then you go in behind him right here. Okay, watch this. This is when you got to know the blocking scheme, guys. Here we go. See, he's, he's out of the way. Boom, he makes his block right here. Okay. 
He makes his block right here. Boom. Left guard makes his block here. Right guard is going to take him out right here. And guess what? We got Lane. Uh, uh, Terry McLaurin takes out here. Watch this. Look at Terry McLaurin, guys. He's going to go over here and knock my man out right here. <laughs> What's up guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? Be patient. You see that little hesitation? Now watch this. When the quarterback Jaden Daniels goes to his right, look at the linebackers. Watch this. Look at these linebackers. They go to their right. We're breaking it down guys. We are breaking it down. Watch this. They're going to go to their right as Jaden Daniels leans to his right. Look at that. They go to their right. Setting the whole thing up. Boom. And then all he has to do is finish. The linebackers already took themselves out of the play. These guys, these my guards are gonna clean them up. <laughs> and then uh, Austin Eckler is gonna go right through the hole, baby. Be patient, do not hit turbo, and follow your blocking. First of all, you gotta hesitate right here. When Jaden Daniels is going to hang the ball, wait till the tight end comes across. Don't do it too fast. Be patient and go right in and just follow your blocks, guys. Boom. Now, you see. <laughs> are we breaking this down, guys? Now, you see this guy right here had inside position. He had inside position to the runner right here. So, obviously, he's in great position because uh, uh, Terry McLaurin, it's, it's on the outside. He's on the outside of this defender right here. So the defender has a, that's when I say position positioning matters in the game. Positioning matters in the game. He's in great position to make the tackle. Now, when you get to this open field, hopefully you, when you saw, when you see this hole right here, hopefully you hitting turbo so you can get by him. And I didn't hit turbo right there because I'm trying to get used to not hitting turbo. I was so focused on running, finding my hole, going behind the blockers, I didn't hit turbo. And if I hit turbo, maybe he wouldn't have leashed off him by me. Okay? Maybe I could have juked over here. Who knows? But you get stuff created. See, I'm running right into him right here. I'm running right into him instead of going over this way. Because I should have saw that he was going to block shit right here. <laughs> right? Just a quick breakdown, guys. Just a quick breakdown. Be patient and follow your blocking schemes. They really work. And your run game will improve. Let's, let's look at it one more time. At speed. Beautiful. That's beautiful, guys. You follow your run schemes you will have a better running game. I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next video.